What we saw on the steps of the Victorian Parliament on the weekend was abhorrent. There is no place in Australian society for public displays of Nazi symbols or the Nazi salute. These are markers of some of the darkest days in the world's history. The Victorian government was swift in its response. The Premier condemned the behaviour of a group of cowardly, black-clad men who travelled to Melbourne CBD seeking notoriety. The Victorian Attorney-General pledged to reform Victorian law to ban displays of the Nazi salute. And when it was revealed that Victorian Liberal MP Moira Deeming had attended the protest, the Victorian opposition leader announced that he would move to expel Ms Deeming from the Liberal Party. But what have we had from those opposite? In particular, their leader. Complete silence, Mr Speaker. We all know that bigotry and hatred breed in silence. The Leader of the Opposition has failed to join his Victorian counterpart and take action to expel Ms Deeming from his party. He has failed to condemn the display of the Nazi salute on the steps of the Victorian Parliament. He has been invisible since the weekend. He has done no media. Why, Mr Speaker? What is so hard about this? Who is the opposition leader afraid of offending here? Maybe it's Senator Antic, who said in the Senate yesterday, Moira did nothing wrong. For the leader of a party of government to not even condemn the public use of the Nazi salute is astonishing and it is shameful. The leader of the opposition is the most senior Liberal in Australia. Moira Deeming is one of his own and he's been silent and he's done nothing. I've been in this place for 22 years. You can look at my history in every comment that I've made in relation to making sure that uh, we never ever repeat the mistakes of history, particularly during that period. And the slaughter, the slaughter of Jews and the treatment by the Nazis of people during the Second World War, the treatment today of people of the Jewish faith is an abomination. And it is equally condemned in that it would be used for political purposes in this place as a very, very poor reflection on you, if I might say. So, Mr Speaker, as Minister for Home Affairs and as the Minister for Defence, as a member of the National Security Committee, I supported every decision, in fact encouraged to the nth degree the Director General of ASIO Member to use every resource at his disposal to make sure that those who would seek to propagate this hatred should be charged according to the law. And I won't take a morals lecture from that man or indeed that one. Yeah. Yeah. To get up and seat. make the statement himself.